Hi, I am Kajeron Two Wheels, and this is Lane Splitting Part 2. No, I'm just kidding, it's not. <laughs> I'm not going to do another Lane Splitting video. No, this is in response to a comment I got just last night about me going fast. And by fast, I don't mean fast fast, I mean fast through the, the city. In my previous video, I hope it's the previous, depends on what order I upload them. Uh, it really does look like I'm going, I've sped up the video, but I didn't, and I'm not really going that fast. You can verify this. On this bike, you can very easily, because you can see my speed here, see, on the dash. Thing is, for you American blokes, this is in kilometers per hour, not in miles per hour. So you have to convert in this, this video. I'm going to teach you a little technique on what a fucking douchebag. Really? Uh, I'm going to teach you how to quickly convert in your mind from kilometers to miles since the the time frame is the same in hour per hour so that's irrelevant or irrelevant um, hang on I need to focus around these everyone wants to merge no one wants to give an inch so I really need to be focused and not talking Sorry about the intermission. Okay, so onwards. This technique from kilometers to miles, I call it slice and dice. Now there's a reason for that. Let's say, look, I'm doing 25 now. No, 25 is a bad number. Let's say I was doing. Let's start with a number everyone knows. Okay, 60 miles per hour is 100 kilometers per hour. That everyone knows that because that's the usual frame for engine performance oh look he's on the phone hey cool also counts on the phone if you're talking with it in your hand not in your ear idiots okay so I'm content to just stay behind this one I'm going to turn right finally onwards slice and dice let's say I'm doing 60 miles per hour or I'm doing 100 kilometers per hour which we know beforehand it's 60 miles per hour how do you convert that simple you take the 60, the, the 100, and then remove half of it. Cut it in half. That's the slice part. Then it becomes 50. And then you take that 100, do the dice, which is remove the last digit. So you get 10 instead of 100 and add that to the previous number. So that's 10 plus 50, that's 60. Sounds a bit complicated, but it's not. Um, this, okay, this is not the correct way, obviously, but it's close enough for government work. It doesn't really matter if you're going 61 or 62 miles per hour, does it? And the actual figure is like 59.8, but this is a very good approximation, I know from experience. For example, let's say I'm doing like now, I'm doing 40 kilometers per hour. Let's slice, that's 20 miles per hour plus the 4 in 40, so that's 24. Let's round it up, I'm doing about 25 miles an hour. I'm going to try to do this uh, with uh, numbers appearing on the screen. Try to see if I'm correct or not. Uh, there is some margin of error, but it's not really that big. I don't want to, f I want to, I will not filter here. It doesn't really matter for me now. Uh, this is visor up, sorry. Um, but it should sound weird. Let's say I'm doing zero, like now. I divide zero by two, which is zero, and then add, remove the digit, and then the universe implodes, because it makes no sense. So, let's say I'm doing 70, like I was on that mo on that film. 70 by half, it's 35, plus 7 is... Okay, now this is weird, so let's go 40, I was doing 42, 43 miles per hour. That's easy. The other way around, for you European blokes who see uh, American vloggers the other way around is easier you just add 50% and then add a bit more and that bit that bit can also be the, the last the front digit for example let's say the guy is doing 60 you add half of 60 which is 30 so you got 90 kilometers per hour now and then you have to add a bit and okay and beforehand it's supposed to go 10 so he's going 60 you add like 6 and you got 96 and you still have to add a bit more 
because you're actually adding 60% since one mile is 1.6093 kilometers just go I don't want to filter I don't want to filter much I want to filter behind you guys when everyone knows bikes are passing oh that hurts yeah Yeah, guys, bikes are passing. Do not squeeze us, you fucks. Yeah, so it's really that simple. You have to add 60% from kilometers, from miles to kilometers. So let's say 100 miles an hour are 160 kph. And let's say 35 miles an hour. That's a good number. From experience should be something on the range of 50 kph or something like that but let's see 35 should be plus half half of 35 is 15 17 and something so let's add 17 17 to 35 that's 40 50 something hey 35 should be around 60 kph not 50 as i was expecting 30 30 is plus 20 plus 15 which means it's 45 plus a bit more 50 ish yeah that's it it works really works oh and by the way americans please 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 start educating your kids into using the metric system it's so much simpler and the whole you are basically the only country in the world which still uses it don't go with tradition please we had a 600 year old tradition of using other measuring units and then we just switched it to metric because it's that better well the rent of the day is over okay you're out Ooh.